January 3, Thursday, Memorial of St. Genevieve, the Most Holy Name of Jesus, and Thursday before Epiphany. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. John the Baptist saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. He is the one of whom I said, A man is coming after me who ranks ahead of me because he existed before me. I did not know him, but the reason why I came baptizing with water was that he might be made known to Israel. John testified further, saying, I saw the Spirit come down like a dove from the sky and remain upon him. I did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, On whomever you see the Spirit come down and remain, he is the one who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Now I have seen and testified that he is the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord Behold the Lamb of God The Lamb of God is reminiscent of the Passover event, when the angel of death slew the firstborn of the Egyptians, whereas the firstborn of the Israelites were spared as the angel passed over the houses, whose door spots had been sprinkled by the blood of the Lamb of Sacrifice. John alludes to Jesus as the Lamb of God, the sacrificial victim in the new Passover. Jesus' sacrifice on the cross took place at the very time when the priests slaughtered the paschal lambs in the temple on the feast of the Passover. This familiar expression serves as the invitation for the faithful to receive Holy Communion. Jesus, the Lamb of God, sacrificed on Calvary and now made present at Mass, wishes to be one with us in the reception of the Lord's Supper. Jesus is also the priest Messiah, who presides at the Last Supper, a Passover meal the night before his crucifixion, where he told his apostles to remember him by eating bread and drinking wine. Finally, Jesus is also the Lamb of God who died for the atonement of sins and conquered once and for all.